Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. So at first we have to understand what a potentiometer is and um, how it is working. You can find a potentiometer in your starter kits and it's here it looks like a little knob and it has three legs and you can rotate the knob. How is it looking uh, physically in this uh, potentiometer? We have here a um, resisting material and it is connected on the one side and on the other side and in the middle we have something like a little arm which um, is uh, moving on this resisting material and gives us this two partial resistors. Here it is, this one is resistor 1 and this here is resistor 2. If we look into the schematic si uh, symbol then again this is here actually the symbol of this resistor and this here, this uh, middle leg is to show, okay we have here the partial resistor R1 and we have here this partial resistor R2 and we always connect the potentiometer on the one side to the plus and the other side to the ground which side is not so important by now. The middle one leg is connected to the Arduino analog input so the circuit is quite easy and Arduino again is measuring the relation between these two partial resistors. The code for that is quite easy too. Value is analog read and pin number. The pin again is the attached analog pin this time. It's a row on the downer side of the Arduino. And the value we get here is has a range from 0 to 1023. What means that it is four times as um, precise as the analog output, if you remember. Okay, let's do something with that. So it f let's um, attach a potentiometer and a servo motor. The example code you can find here in the examples of Arduino and it is called um, servo knob. Okay, this is what we will build. So at first we have to understand the servo motor. In your Fritzing starter kit you will find the big guy here. It's a servo motor and it comes with different steering propeller propellers like this here and I would say we take this a servo motor is an electrical motor which can steer something from in uh, from 0 to 180 degrees like this here you if you try to move that then you can feel that it is it only can move to a special place and then it stops. So what happens is that in the servo motor there is a built-in controller and we can tell the servo motor to which angle it should be steered. It comes with this attached cable and we have here three different cables in there. <coughs> it is a red one in the middle, this should be connected to the 5 volt plus. It has a brown or a black wire cable, um, this should be connected to the ground and we have a yellow or orange cable. This is the data channel and it has to be attached um, to a digital output. <coughs> so to easy attach it we can place in this little cable in here and a longer one to place it later into the digital channel. So here now I have the ground and the plus and I put them just in this rows here and I have this data channel which should be later on this for digital 9. So for the work on that I will detach the Arduino board. 
Okay, so here I have my data channel and I connect it to the digital output pin 9. Oh, and I can remove this LED and this resistor. <coughs> so now my servo is connected perfectly and I can now attach the potentiometer. So I can place it in here in this middle gap. And if it is not so nice uh, sticked or if it snaps out, then you even can bend these connections and place it horizontally. Okay, so I said the one side of the servo motor needs a plus and the other side will need a ground signal. Okay, the ground is already connected in this power line and I will connect the plus two, which comes from here. Right, <coughs> and the only thing what's left to do is to connect the middle leg of the potentiometer to my analog input channel of the Arduino board. And that's here the analog zero. So and how is this looking like in fritzing? So let's build it here. We have at first, at first I will connect the power source. So here it is a five volt plus. Let's make it red and, oh, actually I would like to have this plus here and make a and let's make a ground connection there. So we have a servo motor here. So here we have the servo motor again and as I said black or brown goes to the ground, the red wire goes to the plus, and the data wire goes to the 9. It is quite important that you don't reverse the polar polarity on the servo because with that you can break it. Okay, let's make this orange. So, servo is connected right, and now we need this potentiometer. This is here, and this gets a plus red, um, a ground black, and the analog signal. Okay, that's the circuit. Again, quite easy. And now let's transfer the code to the Arduino board. So it's uploaded and now I can control the movement of the servo by rotating the potentiometer. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc/forum. Thanks for watching.